Hello, it's me, Sarah. It's also midnight, and I am extremely hyper. I'm so hyper, I feel like dancing. In fact, you know what? I think I'm gonna have to dance. So I have been out all day filming, but I did want to make a video before I changed out of my awesome outfit that I've been filming in. I've got some really, really exciting projects that I'm working on right now, cool videos that hopefully I'll be uploading to YouTube really soon, so it's definitely something all of my subscribers and viewers and whoever else can look forward to. Oh my gosh. Last night, for the sixth time, I dreamed that I met Judge Judy. Well, I know you guys all must think, wow, that is insane. You would not believe how badly I want to meet this lady. I mean, she's like sassy, she's smart, she doesn't take crap from anybody. I so want to be related to her. But that's just a totally <laughs> random thought. Um, oh yeah, so I was going to make a video today about Bobby Darren's ultimate sexiness, but I filmed all day and now I'm kind of tired slash hyper, and so I thought I would just talk about his sexiness. Um, I I must be totally, completely, 100% insane, because I really do not see how not every woman on the face of this earth could think that this is just like the hottest person ever. I mean, I just don't get it, I really, seriously. I'm just insane like that. Like, I look at this picture right here, and I'm just like, wow. You know, they say the perfect man does not exist, but there he is. And I just don't understand why women don't, why not all women just don't like, gosh, just go crazy over him. He is so hot. It's like insane. I mean, he's so hot. Bobby Darren is so hot that he gets two T's instead of one at the end of the word hot. Because you can't just say Bobby Darren's hot. You have to say Bobby Darren's hot. Bobby Darren's hot. Now on to something of importance. Not that the whole world doesn't revolve around Bobby Darren's hotness. I mean, come on, it totally does. But um, I just want to talk about something else. I went to St. Louis the other day with Dad. I think it was on Monday that we went. We went to visit his side of the family because that's where they live and St. Louis is actually where I was born. So we get there. I go downstairs with my awesome, awesome cousin Sophie. We're checking out some videos that I uploaded to YouTube. I haven't seen my cousins in like five months, six months, I don't know. My cousin Emmy. comes downstairs, takes one look at me, and she goes, you look like a freak. And guess what? I was wearing like this exact same outfit, except I didn't have the corset at that time. I just had the black shirt. She told me I look like a freak because of the way that I was dressed. We get upstairs, and I'm talking to her, and we're eating or whatever. We're sitting across the table from each other. And She's like, so why are you all goth now? Like, what's up with that? And I was like, I don't know, I just like the look. Then she asked me the most insulting question I've probably ever been asked. She said, you're still straight, right? I was like, uh, yeah. Because she's like, oh, well, you're goth, so I just, you know, wanted to make sure. As if all goths are lesbians. Like, please, come on. So I was totally insulted. Then, the living room is just like, comes right into the dining room, and her mom, my evil aunt Becky, she's like, mumbling to my dad, she's like, I think the goth look is totally ugly and it promotes death. So I turned to her and I was like, so I started this argument with her, which she was totally losing. And she was like, yeah, well, I just think it's ugly. And I was like, well, that's just your opinion. And she said, yeah, and my opinion is the only thing that counts. So I was like, huh, you just lost right there. Because if you're so stubborn that you think your opinion's the only one that counts, you're really insane. Then, as I'm walking off to go out the door because I'm offended, she leans over to my dad and says loud enough where I can hear, your daughter's really close-minded. Right, as if I'm the one that's close-minded. But my Aunt Becky has always had it out for me. 
it's just like they were sitting around one time talking about how the people who work at Hot Topic are so creepy because they're all in dark clothes and they have all these piercings and that they just wouldn't even go in there because they wouldn't want to approach those creepy kinds of people. And I went into Hot Topic recently, which is where I got this corset that transformed me into the goddess that I am. And I talk, you know, I talk to those people that work behind the counter and they're so awesome. They're always being so sweet, they're always helping me out, they're always asking me how I am, we always start up these little conversations. I mean, they're just cool, down-to-earth people. You know, I think emos are cool, emos are awesome, people who diss emos are lame. And goths are totally awesome. And, you know, if you're gonna pick on, pick on a label, why don't you pick on preps? And come on, not enough people pick on preps. And they're so easy to pick on. They're like, oh god, they're lesbians. Emos want to kill themselves. Preps, st the stereotypes for preps. I mean, just pick on preps for a while. And I got nothing against preps, emos, or gods as long as they're nice people. You know, because that's what counts. It's what's on the inside. Okay? And that's really about all I have to say, so... Stay tuned for upcoming awesome, awesome, awesome projects, and until next time, bye.